Hey guys, good morning. It's another beautiful day. The sun is out, it's beautiful. I survived my coffee detox and you guys got to witness that. <laughs> and if you didn't, you should go and watch that because that was quite a thing. Um, today, I am making some hypocrite soup. Soup, 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 it was super simple. You know, um, I wanna get my camera, my Canon out of storage so that I can actually show you how to chop and do all of that stuff, but this one was really simple. You just get, you gather all the ingredient, ingredients, you get like two leeks, you get uh, one pound of potatoes, you get a pound and a half of uh, tomatoes. I got heirlooms, they were beautiful and purple. Um, I'm supposed to get a parsley root, couldn't find that, but I got some parsley and some thyme and um, some garlic and what else? Uh, there was a bulb of celery and uh, yeah, if there's anything else, I'll, I'll list it in the description below, but you chop all of that up, like not too precise. You see it's like all different chunks, like, you know, um, the leeks were really cool being chopped up. Oh, and two, uh, two onions. Don't forget the onions. Those are good. And depending on whether or not uh, you're going to be taking this really seriously, you don't add salt. But I added salt because I want my stuff to taste good. So what you do is you chop up all of your vegetables, you put it in the pot, and you simmer it for two hours. And then once everything is all soft and kind of done for, you throw out all the vegetables and you keep the broth. And what you do with the broth is every day you're supposed to have um, uh, one cup twice a day of the, this hypocrite soup. I don't even know. I should look up why they call it hypocrite soup. It's kind of a weird name. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to taste it. I mean, there's no like beef bouillon or, you know, chicken broth or, you know, too much salt in it. So I don't know how exciting it's going to be, but it looked pretty in the beginning. Now it's all mush. But yeah, I guess that's the concept. So yeah, um, it is my last day. I had to do this hypocrite soup before it was over. And now what I'm gonna do is take all of the fruits and vegetables from my fridge and from my countertops, and I'm gonna juice every last little bit of them so that I can get them out of the way and start anew, you know? And um, another thing is, you know, I wanted to tell you guys how, um, how versatile this can be because some people can't like, you know, it's not feasible to buy a juicer. So, you know, I mean, I showed you a couple different ways. Like you can, you can juice your, your stuff. You can go to a store that has a juicer and get fresh pressed juice like I did. I got the carrot, apple, ginger that was so bomb. And then, you know, you have juices that are already made. This sucha is one of the best. It's um, apple, celery, cucumber, kale, collard greens, mint, lemon, ginger, spirulina, spinach, chlorella, and barley grass. Super good. The mint in it makes it really bomb. And you know how all of those other juices out, well, a lot of juices have like friggin' gnarly stuff in it that's not on the label. Um, like in bulk, well, what is it? Um, uh, I don't want to say anything that's, uh, you know, crazy and out there that I'm not sure of, but I heard some, I heard some not so great stuff about other juices, but this one seems to be really good. Um, it's USA organic, uh, verified, high pressure, certified, cold pressed, all of that or whatever. Um, so yeah, like, uh, that kind of goes with everything else, like with diets and stuff. It's like whatever is accessible to you, like, you know, it's best to have, you know, a uh, farm to table. Like you go to the, uh, farmer's market and you get organic produce and stuff but some people can't do that so you go to the store or and you get organic and if you can't do that you know uh get uh 
vegetables and fruit with thick skin that's not organic and and if if you can't do that go get uh, frozen vegetables and fruit and if you can't do that get canned stuff but whatever works for you you know whatever like you don't have to bust your hump and break the bank to eat healthy like anything in the, that direction is better than not doing it at all so don't feel bad if you can't go to the farmer's market or you can't all the time get organic like I mean, that is something that I've strived for. Like, I've always wanted to make enough money to get the foods that I want. And organic is really important to me. And all of, you know, just being good to my body so I can finally afford that food. And it's like, it's taken me a long time. So, like, don't feel bad if you can't. I mean, like, even I used to, like, live off of staples of, like, we used to call them case of fuck yous. There were these little quesadillas that you'd make with those tortillas. There's like these little corn tortillas. There's like a hundred in a pack and then you just get cheese. And then we get like a rotisserie chicken and live off of that for like a week. It's like whatever you can do, like nobody's perfect. Um, you know, everybody's just trying to make it. And like just whatever you can afford is what you're gonna have. And that's okay, you know? But, you know, working towards a better lifestyle, like say someone um, uh, lives in New York and they uh, take the subway every day and they're used to getting a Coca-Cola and a Snickers and say instead of doing that, you get a bagel and like, I don't know, a juice or something and then maybe a water and then, you know, cause you can't just go from Snickers and Coca-Cola to green juice that you juice fresh pressed every hour on the hour with all of this like farm to table food. Like it's not feasible for everybody where, you know, it's like, so whatever you can do, that's cool, you know? But um, it's, a, it's an investment in your health. Um, when you can afford to do it, do it. And whatever's important to you, you know, your life is important. So, um, you know, take whatever step you can towards a, a healthier, happier life. Um, that's like the message I'd like to shout out because, you know, nobody's perfect. Like, even the people that are perfect eating, you know, all of this green juice and doing their meditation and their yoga and all of that stuff, like, they're still, like, sick and stressed out and... There's so many levels of health that are, you know, that need to be addressed. So just like do everything, you know, there's so many, so many ways that you can approach health. And that would be with relationships, with career, with your actual diet and your exercise and getting enough sleep and having uh, good relationships and uh, meditation and all of that stuff. And everything, you know, everybody's just working on it. Nobody's, nobody's perfect. So, yeah, there's that. And here's my soup. And thanks for watching. I will show you how to juice everything in your fridge. And I'll also tell you about all my cravings. Okay, before I let you go, I have to tell you, I have been dying to eat a bean rice and cheese burrito from me burritos oh my god i'm dying i want it so bad i'm probably gonna go tiptoe to, to uh, me burritos today and go and get myself a burrito stick it in the fridge and at 12 stroke of midnight i'm opening that tin foil up and i'm gonna have my way with that burrito nobody's gonna tell me different i'm so excited Oh my God. And that's not too crazy of a thing to go back to. Like, you know, if you're like super clean and like, you know, you've just been juicing and doing all this good stuff and then you go and eat cake and steak and all of those aches. <laughs> like bean, cheese and rice, that's not so bad. Like I'm gonna have to tiptoe back. You know, my weekend, I don't have a diet going on, but I still, I can't punish my body after getting it so clean. It's like wiping the slate clean and then shitting on something. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you know what I get, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, I'm almost there. I'm so proud of myself. I've stuck to it. I think you guys helped a lot. Like, I, I was gonna give up so many times. Like, I really wanted to so badly just have a full Betty belly, you know, with some bread and some meat and whatever. 
some burritos, oh God. And even little things, like this is a really restrictive diet, so even healthy stuff like quinoa and other stuff, like you can't even have it. Like, So I'm gonna pick a diet that's more inclusive next time, but similar so that I'm not like punishing my body after making it beautiful. So yeah, I'll get back to you guys maybe a little later on today. Oh, I did my blog post. It turned out really good. I'm really happy about it. Um, uh, all, I think it's like, uh, uh, I'll link it. I'll link it. Um, but the name of it is Superfood Me. Did my first post, super pumped, and now I have to, I like, go through my notes and see all of this stuff because I've been writing notes this whole time about how I've been doing. It's kind of funny what, what I came up with, but um, yeah, gotta go through the price and do all of the logistics and like the official diet and stuff like that. So I'm gonna write out a post about that and then I'm gonna move on to my next diet because I'm tired of this one. I mean, it's served me and it's served many others. And by the way, Medical disclaimer. I said something earlier about this, but I'm gonna reiterate because this is important. This, what I'm doing right here, I'm trying it out myself. I'm not saying, I'm not making any claims. I'm not saying, okay, so what was it? Um, this show does not, is not meant to cure, uh, what was the other one? Uh, diagnose or treat any illness or anything like that. And this is just for informational purposes. So if you want to learn more, go to the website gersontherapy.com or gersonresearch.com and find out for yourself because this is not for everyone, okay? Even people with cancer, even people with like terminal illness, they're like, they have to go on the site and take a little quiz to see if you're even eligible to do this because this is a slow moving treatment and if you have a fast progressing disease you could friggin die so you need to go and talk to your medical provider and get yourself to an even place and once you're at that even place you can start incorporating the diet so that you don't go back to the place where you're you know collecting disease and and all of that stuff so that's the whole point about that I had to make sure so nobody sues me so gotcha Ha! <laughs> if you had any ideas, take it back. <laughs> but yeah, like the whole point of this is to show people like, you know, how it feels to be on this and see, see if it's, you know, if you'd be interested in it. So um, I hope that you guys have been interested in it. Like I've had a lot of fun, lots of fun. Oh my God, I would have never like done half of the things that I've done, like, and juicing and doing the, the friggin' enema kit. Like that was yeah, it was an experience, like, and the niacin, oh god, I still haven't taken any sense, but you guys see the, saw the effects of that, but yeah, I've had a great time, I'm really excited for my next diet, um, whatever it shall be, it'll be something that I can step into, but yeah, I am so happy I started this journey, and that you guys are with me on this, because it's like, it's really fun, and exciting and it's a whole new world and I am so happy that you're here with me so uh, like subscribe because I love you and you love me and you want to see more of me ah, I assume I hope I pray not that much I mean like you know I'm totally like it felt really good in the beginning to be putting stuff out that I know nobody's gonna watch because I felt so freeing to just be myself and have fun and like you know, I don't have any pressure to be something, you know, and th it's a really good place to start out from because like I feel really open and this is like my safe space and it's exciting. I get to talk about the stuff that I like to nerd out on and, you know, I, hopefully you guys are interested too. If you have any diets or anything that you're interested in watching me uh, do, please comment like subscribe do all of that stuff and let me know i'm here and um i'm gonna try this stuff out the dieteer i'm trying out new names we'll see we'll see 
If you guys have any name ideas, let me know too. Um, yeah, I'll be back a little later on. Um, stay tuned, all right, guys? There's my hypocrite soup. It's getting nice and mushy. It's stirred around a little bit. Ooh, I love these leeks. They're so cute. They're little circles. I love that. It's adorable. Just adorable. Too bad I have to throw it out. Just sell the vegetables. <laughs> I put way too much time and parsley in there, but whatever. It's good for you. So anyways, okay, I'll let you guys go. Nice talking. Bye.